good, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fun with Dumb. We Woo! are here with the whole squad, a little reunion. Blech. Sheila is on her way. She's running a couple minutes late. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys for joining me today. Of course, uh, buddy. It's been a few weeks since we had the whole crew because we had a couple of uh, interviews, one-on-one right. -on -one interviews. We had a little bromance a little bro uh, bromance. episode. Yeah, uh, we did um, the Asa Kira interview, which which, which is you guys awesome. killed by the way, Stephanie. Yeah. yeah, come on, and it's wow, going up, a, and it's going an up right now on YouTube. A lot of uh, a lot of views on YouTube, a lot of comments. Um, so thank you guys for watching that interview. I thought it was a good one. Right. Um, and uh, we just got back from a trip with some friends in the Utah Arizona area. Damn. Yeah. yeah. So uh, me and Steffi joined uh, about three, four other people on a trip. Um, and this is my first kind of nature adventure excursion, yeah. like where we're walking through rivers and I'm like, damn, I got to get out of K-Town. Uh, <laughs> <Right, right. laughs> you know what I mean? Like the Culver City steps. Yeah, huh? we went to Zion National Park. Um, you went to Zion? Yeah, I went wow! to Zion. Yeah. Oh. By, the, by the way, first when I got there, I was like, this would be a great place to pray. Right, like for a no, I was thinking cool. about for sure, it, I was for like, sure. Yeah, Rick would love this place, dude. Right. I saw your IG story. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was yeah. over here just putting up my meal, and then I see. I thought you were in front of a green screen. That was gorgeous, nah, yeah. bro. <laughs> there's a there's a place called the Narrows, where these huge mountains. You're you're in the middle. There's rivers running between canyons, right. and you're just walking on the in the river yeah like you're in a war or something that's crazy well it's all rocks under the water so you're, like you you're gotta, in war yeah. or something i didn't even realize that you needed like special shoes you needed water shoes right. you needed like hiking shoes yeah. right. you could borrow the rock shoes actually there mm, and then you mm. have to go through like was a mile and a half yeah. no, it goes no, no, 60 it, miles but yeah typically people go about a may mile i ask what prompted this uh impromptu <laughs> Uh, was well, one of our friends actually initiated the trip. It was gotcha. like, yo, let's go. And we were kind of iffy on it for like a week. And then we're like, yo, you want to go? Because a we drive to Arizona, yeah. Utah, it's a commitment right there. How many hours uh, is that? It was like a six hour drive. Six hours six hour drive. to Utah six. and then another couple, four hours to this area that we, the Antelope Valley. Another right. two hours to the Antelope yeah. Valley where we kayaked. Oh. That was fun. Kayaking you know, like, have you was... seen the screensavers like on, on your Apple yeah, Mac? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's where we went, those Jeez. screensavers. <laughs> Google <laughs> Chrome this. default background. Yeah, oh, they need Google wow. Chrome. Apple commercials with all the beautiful canyons. Right, that's right, what right. It Bend, like. Page, Arizona. That's where we went. That is and beautiful. that whole when you get to that area, you just drive around and it's just ca canyons and it right. looks like Mars, pretty right, much. Right, right, right. So it did. everything was so. Gorgeous. Some of the best things in America are free, yo. I'm it's telling cheap. you, it, it really cheap. is. I mean, you have to pay for the parking, things of that sort, but right. and like the shuttles to get to places. It's but so outside good. of that, it's so cheap. Is it? Is it? And sorry for like bombarding you with so many questions but like no, is please. it physically tedious like to do you have to kind of be in shape to do that right actually because you could go on your own pace yeah. you don't have oh. to go like because you're not going with the big big group or Got anything you. like that you can kind of like break off with your friends you might yeah, want to yeah. go with some active people though because i feel like right. you might want to do the yeah. full hike you don't want to just go there and bring and a nalgene or something yeah, yeah what i was surprised <laughs> with the narrows was it wasn't so hot right now like i heard people that went last month it was extremely hot right. but like this this month it was like totally fine because the canyons kind of cover and they're shadowing throughout right yeah. so it was like even if the weather was like 85 90 degrees the water itself was like cool like i would say it was probably like 70 60 degree water yeah, yeah that's right? incredible yeah it's it's freaking gorgeous and it only goes up to your like legs like to right, your right. if you're in the states if you live in the states i would def definitely recommend this as one of the spots Moscow. to uh, yeah. visit i just sure. can't believe like us being from here and living here Ooh, hey! what up, sheila? we got yeah. sheila oh actually sheila is one of the reasons that we were uh, inspired, yeah, yeah, inspired, inspired to go are we, are we live whoa she looks tan too she uh, lives from the Utah you sun. Look, you look hot, girl. First of all, wow. you smell really good right Dang. now. Put the, let's put the mic up. For, uh, Sheila is the real influencer. Hello, guys. What's going on? You yeah. influenced us with your influence. I actually to want go. to talk about that. I'm yeah. really just excited based, that you yeah. guys got took my entire itinerary. I like I love <laughs> it. You just basically <laughs> did what you did. No, you I'm happy you entire... picked me. Yeah, so we saw Sheila's photos, and we were like, we need those photos as well. Uh, we're going to get those exact poses. <laughs> 
we didn't get it as good as yours, to be honest. It was kind of hard. Well, I, I was trying to. I, I went to your page and I was like, oh, I want to see Steffi's photos, but I, I didn't only post. Saw... Yeah, I didn't post yet. I wasn't ready to post all that, you know. We, did, we took that. a lot of photos. Man, and, I'm uh, so excited you guys did that. How amazing yeah. is the lake? Yeah, we went with a couple of friends too, so yeah. it was love. Uh, but it was amazing yeah. that lake kayaking and uh, the Narrows. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say this. I will say this. A lot of people are going because when I went there, it did feel like very influencery a little bit. And I bit. think a lot of people were from LA. We went to a restaurant. They're like, oh, thanks for coming from LA. Like, right, you guys right, are keeping right. us in business. I think well, a lot of it is. I mean, is I don't here. care. It's, be it's beautiful, nevertheless. Yeah. I'm just saying that it's, it's catching on. It's, start it's catching on. Because right, when I right. went oh, there, sure. I saw girls with like big titties and shit. I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, like the ones you. Like, like the Grove. Like the Grove Los Angeles big titties. You know what I mean? Like, like fake ass. Right, right, right. Yeah, right. like the, the fake ass was floating in the river and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Them shits was out that there. Was the flotation devices. There were flotation out devices there. out there. Like, they didn't even need a kayak. You know what I'm saying? How was the food Wait. over there? Yo? Yeah. Uh, we had we had barbecue mm. at one of the restaurants. That was pretty good. But there was a lot of fast food, you know, going to right, McDonald's, right. Of course, Jack of in course. the Box, mm -hmm. Sonics, all that. Sonics? Yeah, Sonics. Is Wait, I got a question, though. How long did you hike uh, the Narrows? We did. Uh, so we got there at like ten. Two, three, two we got hours. there at ten o'clock, and we we stay, we got we got picked up from the show at three. Right. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, you got picked up to at, go head back, right? Yeah. 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 At, yeah. at three. Um, Angels Landing is there, but it was yeah. closed. You know the yeah. one, the most strenuous hike. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to go back for that, but unfortunately, when I was like, it was closed to the public. But that's the one where you're like. Oh really? Um, hiking or on like the top of the rocks, and then it's like you. It's a chain. You just have a chain to hang on to, you know? What? Yeah. That's like, and like, then it's every It's yeah. beautiful, though. I heard it's that so one's really, really yeah. well. I will say, I wanted to, after going this first time, now I feel like I know the area and know how to do things there. So right. I want to go back. And, Same. That's I want to go I with, like, too. a pretty big... Let why don't we do a fun with we dumb... Can we do that? Uh, yeah. A fun group. with dumb retreat. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> a fun <laughs> with dumb retreat. That'll be lit. Yeah. I'm so I just like, would you say, like, it's crazy because we were both raised here and we never took advantage of going to Oh, that's an interesting thing. Thing, huh? Because yeah. a lot of people actually yeah. Is that your first time too? Out. No, she, it wasn't. It wasn't. No, I yeah, went. Yeah, no, and she went out there. That we was were my second time. By her, you know what I mean. Yeah. One of the influences. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> yeah. That was like my third time to Horseshoe Bend. That's wow. crazy. Yeah. Did y'all hit the sunrise? Sunset. No, we said sunset. 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 Yeah. yeah, that's nice. It's the same cool. thing, right? But it opposite. Opposite sides. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How does that work? Does that okay? Like yeah. I feel like this whole time, like we can go, we can go to more places around. It's like Sequoia, Sedona, like all yeah. these places that I just like never really think about because I feel Sequoia, like I'm such Sedona. a city person. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I need that energy. But right. because of like this quarantine situation and all this is happening, it's like you, we want to be right. in touch yeah. with nature. I've more. spent more more money on like a night of bottle service than like a weekend at, exactly. with all this nature. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And it, you know what they say when when something's in your backyard, you very seldom like take advantage yeah. of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd rarely go to the beach. Right, right. And that's you so know? crazy. You go to without... the beach in, yeah, you go a lot, lot in, in LA. In LA. Yeah. Really? I need to go more, yeah. man. I really I gotta take go more. Advantage, like, wow. We're all on the same Venice. wavelength a little bit because we didn't talk, we didn't discuss anything, but we all took trips. I did not go to Horseshoe Bend, but I too went on a beach trip. You know oh, yeah, we were at the beach. Too. Yeah, I went down to Santa Monica. First, I went to Hermosa Beach. I messed oh, yeah. up because I just I just booked a room without. So you really just booked thinking. a room by Santa Monica. I just booked a room at Hermosa Beach, right? Yeah. But then I got to the hotel and I'm trying to check in it, and they're like, "It was September 26th." They're like, "You booked it for October 26th, you idiot!" <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> you idiot! Wow. And I and I'm and I, you know, my friends in the car were like waiting. I'm, I'm like hyping this place up because it's right next to the beach. And then we had to leave there and then book another spot. It was terrible. Wow. But no, it was amazing. That's you know, tight. just being near the water. Just you, you had know. a nice room. I you mean, had a you know, fancy, a, fancy room. Have you done nice one of those? Little, like just rent like a hotel a that's in the same area? Yeah. yeah. I'm big on that. I'm yeah. big on like the staycation. Right, right. The spa days, the love yourself, right. treat yourself. I'm big that's on all That's exactly that. yeah. what it was. It was like, yo, I d I don't remember the last time I bought anything for myself you know what i mean yeah. or like or like just kind of splurged on myself you know because and a lot of the times we do activities especially in the last couple of years it's right. been to hate myself kind it's, of it's, you know the it's been junk the food <laughs> drugs alcohol right right you, you know, know so it's nice it's to switch it like, up and treat yeah, yourself trying to fill your void with all these toxic toxicity 
I wanted to, you know, switch it up a little bit, leave the loft, leave L.A. You know, the air quality like got better 2 percent out there. But still, yeah. it was just waking up to the beach breeze and then just going out, having good food. There's a you think there's been an increase just in these nature excursions. A I think so. Why? Why in general, though? Just because there aren't other things to do that are like I more think there's more bars well, and stuff. A thousand percent. That I, yeah, that's if not. For the First of all, let me can I discuss this a thousand percent <laughs> thing. Go. Hold on, hold on. Let me Let's just go. talk about this because everyone has that one person yeah, yeah, in their group yeah. that says a thousand percent <laughs> there is no thousand percent there first is. of all okay? it's 10 times more than the, the, wait 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 is it's a, so if, certain if it's a hundred percent doesn't yeah. that cover <laughs> the, no, oh okay there is yeah. a thousand no, okay. expressing dude. yourself in that first way, of all there yeah. is a I'm thousand percent so there is a thousand percent. There's a thousand million percent thousand is thousand percent. A thousand, you yeah, know what I mean? There's a million thousand percent. Say it again. Okay, wait. A thousand percent. So a thousand, a thousand. Per, there's a difference between a hundred percent and a thousand percent. When you explain a thousand percent to a hundred percent. What do you, yeah. Bro. Why yeah. Alex, Alex, our engineer Asian's here, producer, yeah, yeah. pulled up the Wikipedia page for a thousand percent. There is actually a wiki for this. Of multiply course, by man. ten. It says multiply hundred by ten. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, I know. Percent. Okay. Right. I know. There's like an increase of a thousand percent things yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, so yeah. when you say a thousand percent, do you believe it with every emphasis <laughs> of what you're saying? There is no <laughs> doubt whatsoever. <laughs> there's no yeah. doubt That's whatsoever. Zero. Okay. How did okay. it go from a hundred ten percent to a thousand percent? Remember, people used to say a hundred ten percent. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 That, that offends dumb. me. That, that offends me. Wait, wait, dumb. really? A thousand yeah. percent pisses me off. Because no, oh, I, I, I'm working with, uh, I have a co-writer that we're writing something, right. and she's constantly saying a thousand percent in every time. I'm just like, Whoa. right, right, right. <laughs> but it has to be all zeros. You can't. I had someone who was like 155 percent, bro. I'm like, yo, yo, 155. Like, 155. That's too much. That's I do say 110 percent. Y'all don't like 110 like what, percent. What, what is it about 110? It's not enough for you. No, no, that's it's what I'm saying. Enough. If she not had enough. a thousand, why would 110 yeah. do? What would that extra, do? Like, missing? That's what I'm saying. Another 900% yeah. on Yo, top of that. Are you serious? A thousand yeah. percent. Yo, 100% means yes, but that extra 10 does not sway anything. Uh, every you time I mean? say 110%, it was because I always talk about my dad. My dad is like, right, I, it was right. always like, my dad doesn't care whatever I do. He just wants me to go 110% in it. <laughs> right, 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 I would, right. That's how right. I would always say 110%. Well, I mean, yeah. for an Asian, that's, you know, the extra credit. You know yeah. what I mean? That kind of makes sense. I've never used this thousand percent, by the way. A thousand. A, a thousand. A thousand. A thousand. <laughs> yeah, I haven't. What did I say? No, no, no. Astounding. <laughs> you never a thousand you never percent. Use that I think that's kind of new. A thousand percent. A thousand percent. Like, people have been really go leaning into this a thousand, a thousand percent thing. Yeah. It might be like Gen X, you yeah, know? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> A thousand percent. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. No oh cap. Okay, but we're, t we're going back to this nature thing. So yeah. you're, you're saying more people are doing this. Why? Yeah. A thousand percent. Thousand. <laughs> yeah, but why are they? Because their activities are limited, especially social activities, indoors or wherever they're go. I mean, all the establishments are closed right now, right. so they're going to venture off into nature. And being at home this entire time really forced us to reflect, and then. For some reason, reflection always is attached to nature a little mm. bit. You know what I mean? You think so? I, 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 I think, think so. That's like true. An mirrors earth, and an reflection. Well, yeah. Also, when you're working on yourself internally, a lot of it is like getting to the core of like you know yeah. finding out wh the meaning of who you are. Right. That's where true. You're and they always put from they always put inspirational quotes on top of like nature <laughs> yeah. visuals. Yeah. yeah. Like, 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 <laughs> Exactly. Teamwork. Yeah. I know I saw this place yeah, somewhere. On, exactly. Hundred yeah. so percent. Like, and that's more associated to peace, and that's what everyone's like striving for within themselves. Right. So they'll venture out to what will most be that kind of influence on them. Damn, I feel it right now. I feel it. I'm telling you, third time horseshoe bend, baby. I know right? what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, let me ask you this: When you go to one of those places, say like you go to horseshoe bend and you're sitting there looking up at the view. Yeah. How long do you look at the view before you're like, okay, I think I get the gist. Um, probably I'll. Well, when I was there a few weeks ago, I was probably sitting for about an hour to two, two hours. Mm. You sat there just for an hour to yeah. two hours just looking yeah. ab at it. Yeah. Okay. Did you set wow. intentions? Like, what were you doing? Do you do like a med Medita do you yeah. meditate? Like a me like a meditation kind of you right. know, like thoughts and meditations, intentions, and all of that. Wow. Yeah. 
I feel like that's why the hiking thing is important because you can when you get there, you can sit there for an hour or two. But yeah, being active, you just kind of. I feel like you see newer things every corner. Mm-hmm. Right. Like that's why I like the Antelope Valleys and and um, all those hikes in the Narrows because yeah. every you time turn you turn the corner, you see a Something whole new, new world, wow. yeah. <laughs> a that's new fantastic point of view, if you will. Yeah. No one to tell us now <laughs> or where to go. <laughs> I wish I know the song so we could keep yeah, going. Yeah. No, that's why when the Pocahontas was like just around the river, man, I look once more. I yeah. get that because every time you turn the corner, <laughs> did you just break into yeah. song? No, every that time you turn the corner. The whole time we were on that canoe kayak, right. yeah. we were like, we're living Pocahontas. No, right, every right. time you t- just around the river <laughs> bend, mm-hmm. is it river bend or bend? Bend. Bend, yeah. Bend. Just around the river bend, I look once more. I got it. Because uh-huh. I was like, there's a whole new situation there. You know? Right. Yeah. Don't um, make your eyes that big towards me ever again. Um, I, I got a question. Did you guys fly to Vegas or what did you do? No, we drove. Straight from LA? Yeah. Wow. We drove all the way to. Uh, of you guys. No, we didn't just drive so to funny. Vegas. <laughs> we didn't drive it straight to Vegas. We stri- drove straight to Zion. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it I was know. not bad, dude. It was yeah. not bad. Like an, uh, what did you guys do like during that six hour car ride? I want to know. Like, let's 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 see what the inside the car activities for we you guys. listened to. Uh, Typically, uh, karaoke. Karaoke. Right? Mm. Karaoke to music. Oh, that's awesome. Old school, 2000s, 90s. Nice. That's the best thing Road to Zion. I like that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, um, it was it was sick because you get to a certain point, like right when you enter the scenic area and you see the most craziest mountains. Yeah, yeah. it's absolutely beautiful. No, I completely understand. I remember a few moments in my life where I'm just in front of just the most picturesque, beautiful, you know, like this place called Ushi in Switzerland. It's where you see the Evian Mountains. You know, like on an Evian water bottle, yeah, yeah, yeah. you see the mountains. Those actual so mountains. You see the yeah. actual mountains right there, but wow. it's crazy because. It's the horizon. You can't really see it. You don't know where the water and the mountain start. So it just seems like a huge gradient. You know what I mean? Like silver blue to like the most heavenly sky blue ever. And yeah. I'm like, I can't capture this on the phone. There's no way that yeah. this could, it could, All you the know? pictures That's that I even thing. posted does not do it justice. No, it's yeah, you know, so it's one of those things yeah. where like you have to be there. And I kind of understand why she sits there for those hours because you just want to, you just want to gather everything yeah. you know what i mean a thousand wanna, percent of you nature. you want you want 110 percent of <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. yeah yeah i, I tend to do that i don't know if this is just me but like you know when i travel around the world i always like look down on the ground be like okay i'm here you know what i mean like yeah. let's remember this moment i'm on this land right now you know yeah. So man, I'm, I, I definitely want to go to Zion with you yeah, guys, man. Yeah, we'll do the. We'll do, I'll set it up, uh, you know. Right. Um, kind of rent some jet skis on the lake. Uh, that's what we're talking about. Jet skiing sounds so yeah. fun. So you guys rented the kayaks, right? Yeah. And how how long did you kayak for into the? Did you kayak into the canyons? Yeah, we went to all the way to the end. That's Before, like a four yeah, we hour went to kayak. around. Yeah, we went around about. It was a three hour feet. kayak back and forth. Wow. Back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, three, yeah. yeah but it was dope. Well, what so what if amazing. you get tired like halfway through? You have to just. You, don't, you just though. gotta. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I don't yeah. feel like you the did, current, you get the current. Because the current. It carries but you, next right? time I go, I want to like no rent like a houseboat kind of or something like that. Saying, that like could be lit. We yeah, do a yeah, podcast yeah. episode on the boat. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, oh, sure. Yeah, cool. Yeah. You bring the equipment. All right. Uh- <laughs> you, can't, you can't stream or anything either. Like there's no internet service connection at all. Service anyway. I got some Wi-Fi disciples. <laughs> let's next time let's go to whatever this Kirkland bottle, the picture of the Kirkland <laughs> bottle here is. It's not Evian, but this is something else. That's in Stockton, California now. Okay. Nah, nah, but highly recommended, guys. Everybody out there um, on in the chat, get out there, do some nature stuff. We got some comments here. I wish Dumb put an actual shirt on. Okay, mm. fuck you, Renny. Uh, <laughs> we got She Late. Uh, <laughs> she lo- Sheila's makeup is popping right now with this lighting. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. We got new lighting, so no now it looks wonder. better. Now okay, looks yeah, better. yeah. It yeah. looks very lit you can up. You see it? Yeah, yeah. A yeah. Bit on so the we're doing you justice in the other episode. Sorry, we just. Is it a TLC yeah. shirt? It is. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Rick splurges on hair products. No, I don't, man. Nah, this is just nah, sweat nah. from last night. Don't worry about uh, it. Would you listen to Fun with Dumb on the way? No, 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 we don't. After we record it, we just let it out. <laughs> Actually, the world. come on. We did listen to some of your songs. <laughs> He's like, do you really? really? He's like, you want to hear some of my songs? No, I didn't that? say you want to. I said you should get to know this he, catalog a little more. <laughs> He started playing all his music. Yeah, yeah. which is uh, you ask him one question. I never knew that artists do. No, here's the thing. I tell you what, artists. (laughs) For me, this is what I need to do. Sometimes I get discouraged about like moving forward with a new body of work that I'm about to make. Mm. That I have to revisit stuff so I can remind myself that I can do this. Like I can make cool shit. 
over and over again, and I, I have done it in the back. Yeah. Because sometimes you listen to your old stuff, and you're like, what kind of mind state was right, I on right, when I made sure. this or whatever? And you, right. you know. What I've learned from your disco discography, what do you call discography. it? Discography. Yeah, discography or catalog. Discog yeah. You got to go listen to his first album. Fun with them. say it's like the one that you're kind of like the least. What, no, like, it's no, the it's the not the least. It's my. It's honestly my favorite album. Right. Yeah. I have to say, it's. Have you? Yeah, you've heard Come it, right? Come on. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's, it's very it's like incredible. Heady. Yeah. You know, it's all like it's. My my first album, it was because I was really young and I was super nerdy and I, I didn't care about being, you know, like, because what I feel like this is what happens when you get older. You start learning all these rules and right. how the industry works. Yeah, and you yeah. Start, it starts getting in your head about how you make stuff how too. You have to be. Yeah, and, and like what people yeah, might resonate persona, towards right. and all that. So, like, that first album, it was just me and Zoe in the studio apartment and we made all these, like, I made a whole song about cock blockers and that yeah. album is about like three different cock blockers that yeah, exist. And stories, <laughs> I love it. Three I, cock blocker stories. <laughs> Literally, about I the remember. Different types. They're all stories. Yeah, yeah. And they're these all guys very do voice smart. acting. I have a song yeah. called K Town Story. It was about like this, like a whole story and shit. And I had this one song called Rapper Rose, and it was talking about the different Cere type of rappers and the serial That's commercial crazy. and like all this weird shit. I mean, there's some problematic stuff in there, but then again, every, every, <laughs> yeah. all well, the songs. Blues? I have a song called Blue Ball Blues yeah. that could be problematic. But, but back then, that's what it was. It was everything was kind of free to do what you want to yeah. do. You know? Yeah, it's it not that censored. problematic. It's there's way more problematic stuff. For sure. Then. There's no N word in there at once. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Yeah. <laughs> but for sure, like their that first project is, is always great. super over the head because you don't care. You know what I mean? A lot of the first projects is like stuff that we wrote from childhood that we wanted to put out. Right. No, nah, but this is one of my favorite fun with uh, Dumbfounded albums. Yeah, but you, you know what I hate? <laughs> it's like musicians, right? We we rarely listen to our own stuff like that, you know, and then we play our song like once or twice. And they're like, you listen to your own shit like that? Like, yeah. I remember I remember my friends like, damn, you guys are very, like, egotistical. You guys just always listen to your own stuff. I'm like, no, I don't I don't usually listen to my stuff. Yeah, now you wear your own merch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you guys really not listen to your own music? Because I know if I made music, I'd probably listen right. to it a lot. No, like, when, we, when right? we're when we working yeah. on yeah. our music, we listen to only our music. You know like, what I mean? Do you rewatch, when you're watching videos, like, that you've made, do you rewatch re them all the time? them, Because yeah. I oh. look at my shit all the fucking time. After I yeah. release something, I, 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 like, watch it at least 300 times. Really? Yeah. I, I yeah. don't. I, yeah. I, I, when I put it out, it's out, and I never watch it. Oh, really? Or, I don't think Oh, I know. <laughs> I don't that no, no, shit. no. But, but I listen. I listen to it and revisit it once a year. Like that once a year, I go and listen to it, <laughs> and I don't. He has an annual revisit. Like... All right, bro. No, nah, yeah, because every once in a while you gotta like revisit and nah, like sure. remind yourself that for you're sure. tight. You know, you're no, like, no, oh shit, I'm tight. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it is a quick. You gotta do a quick check to see if it aged well or not. You know what it I mean? Did. Yeah. It did though. That music did. Your first album, I feel like it's stuff that people would listen to now. Maybe like the the tones might be different. Like, mm. the, the beat. It's very like... sloppy. He had an album. He had a little really album called good. Dumb Burger with Cheese. <laughs> Those really? Are the, really? Yeah, that's even that's nerdier. a classic. That. <laughs> that's a classic. Dumbfounded. Uh, sure. Ask any questions in here regarding you know um, kind of artists and and developing as an artist and getting right. older as an artist because it is a journey yeah, let me tell you that guys it is dead ass <laughs> yeah. are we more nostalgic these days I feel yes. like we are. Oh, yeah. 100%. Like music, everything, right? 100%. A thousand percent. A hundred and ten percent. 42.67%. You're wearing a I mean? TLC shirt over yeah. here. Come on, G. Yeah. I'm wearing a tie-dye hoodie. But you're yeah. very nostalgic to the two, early in 2000s, general, late yeah. 90s. I love it. I am. You had a, uh, a monthly called Fly Girls. I did. Yeah. What's a monthly? Fly mean? Girl, like a monthly event. Oh, okay. Where we would just dance to throwback music and do choreography. And it was like a 90s Fun. party. Looking like a Saved by the Bell character over here, you know, <laughs> at the max. Oh, man, it's just associating those times with good feelings and right. good vibes. Like, that's just even. But I'm going to tell you this. I feel like this whole pandemic era, so to speak, from like March to maybe the end of this year, this will become a nostalgic time period. For sure. Mm. Yeah. Which is a really interesting thing, because yeah. if you think about like in two years from now, We'll be having a conversation and we'll be like, oh my gosh, like. Yeah. Do you remember, remember when like, we used to go to Horseshoe Bend? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what a nostalgic time. Right, right. Like, like yeah. you want to go again? Nah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, man. I will say there are things that I wouldn't, I mean, I, I probably would have eventually gone, but like wouldn't have taken action to gone if it wasn't this circumstance. Yeah. Totally. So I mean, back to your question about why are people so in tune with nature? Also, to echo her, 
it's it's like it's another activity but when you think of nature it's like ah socially distance you know what i mean it's like one of those like you're not around too many that's people true. it's like open air yeah it's like a safe alternative you know what i mean to yeah. go out so yeah i think a lot mm. of people like everybody was walking around outside yeah right, right during quarantine for yeah. me everyone, i was it was everyone. also like a reminder to me of how amazing the god world is. is oh yeah yeah, yeah. and god yeah the, obviously i'm like no yeah god too. <laughs> <laughs> but Honestly. i mean but like if you look at like especially america because like you just we keep there's a lot of ugliness in America right now. So like it's you go out there and you're like, fuck, kind of get away <laughs> from that. But then realize there's these areas, too. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. you guys got to fucking soak in these areas, man, because don't let this Come just on, be enjoyed bro. by old white people. Trust me, <laughs> right, there is right, shit out right, there that right. we all can enjoy. man. <laughs> I did feel very country going out there. Would you say that? Do you feel like when we what, go what's out the there, definition of that? I, I just, I don't know, aesthetically, most right, of right, I guess, right. just, like, you know, it's all like, I mean, it is, you know yeah. how many yeah. times we like sing Country Road? Like, I don't even know, I didn't even know I knew the lyrics to that song. <laughs> That's like, a oh, great yeah, song, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Think of me, West, West Virginia. Yeah. yeah, West Virginia, we're right, trying to find right. other hits like that, you We know? just played Old Town Road 67 times. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Uh, I, I, I would say just, just exploring these I mean, you, I was surprised that it's in these places are in America. Because right. I, when I tour across the country, we don't go through those routes. No, nah, no. Nah, we sure. go like the long right, routes. Right, right, right. The, I mean, uh, the, the shorter routes route. where, yeah, where there's nothing there's nothing to see yeah, like yeah. that. So you it's really, like a pilot. <laughs> yeah, you really soak in those moments, man. For I tell sure, you, highly dude. recommended, guys. Did um, you hear anybody say, God's the best artist. <laughs> you always hear that when you're like, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> when, you're, when you're like, sitting, nah, like, fuck that. If somebody said like, that like, around me, I'm fucking so pissed, roasting right? the shit so out of you. That would be me. I'd be like, look at the gradient. I know that gotcha. we think, I know you think we're great artists, but there's no artist like I, God. <laughs> I do remember shrooming like a couple of years ago with a couple of friends in like Joshua Tree or something. Right. And I remember we were all like looking off into like the sunrise or whatever. My homie to the next to me goes, ah, life is worth living. <laughs> We're like, are you okay, bro? Like, dude. What, it was not until then? I, that's like, why was I was like, are you okay, fam? Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. take a deep I mean, breath. Was, that reminds me of like those posts. I always see those posts that's like, you got to double check on like the people that are always don't seem like, that seem like they're okay. They're the ones that you really need to check up on. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the people that seem like they're doing fine yeah. and having a good time and yeah. whatnot, right? Yeah. I don't know. Who's important that uh, you have to answer the call? Yeah, I was in the middle of something really it, deep. Yeah, right yeah, now. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. It was my grandmother. She wanted <laughs> oh. to know. Oh, it was your grandma. No, it wasn't. Was Stop lying. <laughs> <laughs> Stop <laughs> lying. Who was... really was it? I, it's funny because I'm, I'm curious because uh. you never answer the phone ever. <laughs> what are you talking about? But you're on always... podcast you recording that? a podcast. <laughs> oh, I'm so and you picked up every phone call that's coming away. Like, right now. I'm just wondering. No, it's no, no, no. very interesting yeah, yeah. that I, that I, happens. I am sorry. I am that sorry. you never answer your call when we call, but Did like not on answer? the podcast. Right, right, yeah, right. Last right. Time I, was this is the third phone call. This is the third phone call. You see what happened right now, dude? Yeah. I'm just wondering. Was God yeah, calling? Someone said God was <laughs> calling. Was he calling? What did he say? He said, "I am the best artist." <laughs> 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 Oh man! Uh, um, what are man. some other great locations? Uh, na uh, natural. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what do they call it? Yeah. Is it forest, nature, yeah, whatever? Yeah, yeah. Uh, forest. Uh, uh, destinations. Like, American to... destinations that we need to uh, make a trip to. Put it in the group. Uh, put it in the chat right yeah. now. If there's places that we should check out. You know the quintessential like Asian parents vacation spot, which is Niagara Falls and Grand Canyon. Mm. Those are the two things yeah, that every Asian household wants to like. We're by Grand Canyon, right? That's Grand Canyon. Yeah. Oh, that is. That's Grand part of the canyon. canyon. Oh. That is part of the Grand. But we didn't see like the main part of the Grand Canyon, yeah. like right. wherever that is. Yeah. But I heard it's not as. Beautiful. I don't want to. I don't well, want to I mean, judge, yeah. say I that. I mean, it's but, so like, gross, it's not but as it's, great as all the other stuff that we It's become so tourist. Right, and right, so, right. You know. Yeah. Have you got to the Great Wall of China? Absolutely. You have. Have How, you guys? No, I haven't. Uh -uh. How I mean, it? I did on Google Earth VR. It's <laughs> crazy. I I do really like you know Grand Canyon. Great right. Wall of China. They really just <laughs> threw that in there. They were just <laughs> like, it is great and it is grand. Yeah, I mean, it is huge, bro. I was like, I'll be the judge of that when I get there. You know what I'm saying? Like, but can you imagine building that wall, though? That's why it's great. Right, 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 right. How about like Little Rock? 
<laughs> yeah, they really undersold I mean, that one, didn't they? They really undersold like, that. It's the littlest rock. You want to come out? Like, I think I'll rock. pass on that one. They're like, uh, what's the scene of rock? You want to go to the Grand Canyon? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Mom. <laughs> Wait, where where is Little Rock? What's Little Rock? Arkansas. Arkansas. Oh, Arkansas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, it's all, but it's supposed to be also really beautiful. <laughs> no, dude, that's where the. I'm sure no there's beautiful. I'm sure it's beautiful. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's in the nature. Shout out Arkansas. Yeah. But uh, so the Great Wall. Tell us about the Great Wall. What's it like? Um, it's. I mean, it's great. First of all, it is. <laughs> yeah. So when you got great. your first reaction was, was like, like, damn, great. this is a pretty great wall. That was a great great. Wall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. It's yeah, massive. I mean, it's just so long, and then it's wide too. You can even like ride slides down from the Great Wall. You know, it's just. Did you dance on it or do some kind of dancey thing on it? I, no. I picture you doing something like that. No, because social me- media wasn't really in, non-existent okay. when I had gone. True. Okay. So when you go to thing. the deserts, yeah. do you do that though? A little dance? Sometimes. Like, do you some, sometimes do you do it? Sometimes. Like a choreographed thing. Do you get embarrassed when people watch you what? do no. it? Like, oh, you don't care. Wow, she didn't even let I you don't. finish the sentence. I right love there. that though. I love <laughs> do you get that. A, no. 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 There's yeah. nothing embarrassing about just Hell dancing no. freely and well, wildly. Well, yeah. like good. Should... <laughs> no, I know that's true. It's like, yeah, if I need one, it's like I'm like... flexing all the time. You'd <laughs> 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 yeah. be like, yo, go call the medic, call the medic. I'm like, no, 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 I'm chilling. I'm yeah. Well, well, I mean, do he... people come around you and start clapping? They're no, like, chill, chill. Well, laugh. People... Chill, laugh. They start never... giving you money. <laughs> people tend to get embarrassed about them like filming themselves for social media because right, right, right. people have made them like you know there's all these accounts that make you embarrassed about doing that oh, right? yeah, like influencers that. in the in wild, the wild. Right, right 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 but there's but influencers in the wild their their stuff is kind of cringy sometimes like some influencers get real cringy with their content that's mm. you too if you were filmed that's from the side not even <laughs> the what same you shit. About. if i'm actually doing a legitimate dance on the great wall right that's not gonna go on influencers in the wild mm. no that'll go You'll on like it. complex or something well that's Woo! because social media is banned in china anyways so no there are <laughs> vpns that you can access <laughs> <Instagram. VPNs>. <laughs> true. Wow. that is true that there's is thousands true. <laughs> um but so you're not you're not shy about putting it you're not not particularly it probably no. also helps when you have a group of people that aren't either and they all yeah. just you guys are all hyping each other right, up right right yeah. I, I don't, I go don't Sheila yeah. go Sheila yeah. <laughs> I mean, no that's like a little... dancers like when they did a cypher they're the most that. supportive people I know, ever I love oh, that so much yeah, like I was part of this team. crump team back in the day were you really what? you're part of oh, a crump, crump. Christians for crump crump Christians yeah 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 it was a Christian crump it was a Christian crump movement that we held wow like my old supernova studios fascinating and it's so crazy because everyone's just like go like you know they're all cheering everyone on it's the most supportive wow. encouraging yeah. group of people shout out the crumpers you know what i mean <laughs> david la chapelle oh y'all you know shout what out is. rise you talking about rise, rise? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that movie going, was fire <laughs> that, that movie was fire. um okay so china great wall yeah, china great wall, very amazing actually yeah, the one the world wonders are all really. Uh, mm-hmm. you know? How many have you, you go gone? to all the wonders? We like Googled that recently. Did you, you did. To, yeah. Did what you go to, uh, what are Stonehenge? Like, uh, I think is one Stone of the pyramids. Pyra- no Stone pyramids. Hedge. I haven't been. Yeah. I really want to go see the pyramids. Though. I do. That's pyramids one is one I want to go to. Oh, there, right. there it is. Right. What do we got? Machu Picchu. Taj Mahal. The I wanna Aztec. Go check out. Taj Mahal. Great Wall of China. A Roman co- a Colosseum. Did you guys know that the Taj Mahal Palace was actually like? This person built it for his love. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so beautiful. Isn't that so I hope romantic? he actually got her though. Damn, like, <laughs> yeah. that to be. That's built the whole like, ice palace is for her. <laughs> <laughs> is this it? Is this, this, this it? Who are this all can't these? be Mahal. Yeah. <laughs> Who are all these people taking pictures in front of it? Uh, let me see. Seven wonders of the world. Oh, seven natural. Wait, I thought it was eight. Mm. It's seven. I think they say eight, like. When something is really good, it's like this is the eighth wonder. You know oh, what I'm about? okay, okay, okay. Oh wait, eight wonders. What's yeah. that? My favorite producer, ninth wonder. <laughs> I I really want to check out the pyramids, man. Dude, that was so sick. Yeah, dude. I'm actually gonna add that to my bucket list to check out every um every every all of those all of the world wonders. Really? Why don't we just do that this year? Why don't we just make it the whole? Oh, I guess the year's probably yeah, it's like three too. months. <laughs> 
It's probably costly. I bet it's the cheapest right now, though, because tour tourism is not every is border not is a, open. Yeah, not too. every border is open. Then, that's Actually, true. a lot of those wonders might be closed because they're like um, putting limits on how many people can true. visit. Yeah. Even, even the narrows and stuff is all that's all yeah, it's even regulated now. Right, right. The, it's a very <laughs> narrow Dubai place. Seem, <laughs> narrow Dubai place. seems like too crazy right now. To, like, uh, Dubai to me at one point sounded fun, like going to a city and like it being all wild, like a, a crazier Vegas. But now it doesn't sound ap like appetizing to me because I feel like it'd be too city like city like or like artificial we did you know stop by about? vegas too by the way yeah yeah, oh, yeah. we, Wait, did, the, we did the nature and we did the total opposite, oh, you did the of nature. opposite? yeah uh, <laughs> you went to holy land in babylon in vegas? yeah gambling we, oh my god oh uh, we did a little roulette i'm gonna say i don't know if i'm made for gambling right right i have it wait dude, is it because problem. is it well, really? No, no, no. Meaning, like, <laughs> I get really into it, and I just want to keep playing. No, no, no. I'm no, sure, going to sure. start saving his little chips in my pocket. Right, yeah, yeah. He's right. Like, he's like, give me more. Let me, <laughs> let me, like, go let around. Me, now, let me ask With you. His little rap hands. Like, give me more. <laughs> little <laughs> rap hands. <laughs> He's like this. He's like, ah. <laughs> when, when he, okay, so when you guys he's approached like, the roulette table. Black, red, black, red. <laughs> Which is it? Right. No. What, what what kind of bets do you do? Do you guys do the number bets or do you guys do I the, do the whole colors. color first? I do colors. Color. She does number bets. Wow. I do number two. But when, I think next time I go, I'm going to do more number bets. Because the winning is like, what, 26 to one, right? 24 to one or something 34. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> but then what I want to do is I, I want to – um bet with more money when i get there yeah. like right. we kind of played small yeah but it's kind of not fun when you play small dude, we you gotta saw this like Vietnamese dude just he had probably like five or ten thousand right. dollars worth of chips and he just kind of the Vietnamese dude like lost a thousand dollars one hand just kept playing right. and just like he was a beast oh, yeah. bro. but you, if you put a hundred on one thing you could win thirty six thousand exactly. dollars just by hitting that one exactly. number yeah. there was a dude you know? who put a five dollar chip on, uh, on a number of her choosing he, she, he was all like Choose hey, a number. Choose a number. We'll split the winnings. She chose a number and got the number. Yeah. He split I split it. My favorite number is 24. And he split it with I put you? it on 24. He split it. He, he gave split me even it. a little more. And then that's the. With Scott, that money, I played for like another bucks. And she played. She doubled and I that. Money. Tripled yeah, that. That's crazy. Beautiful. Do you guys play any of the uh, uh, slots at all? Yeah, uh, I played a slot. I played the bachelor slot. The bachelor. It was you like the bachelor. At some point, you did really it was a, well. It was a twenty-five dollars slot, and I the first twenty-five dollars I put in, I won two hundred fifty dollars. Damn! Did you did you pull out? The and ticket? then I lost it. And then I lost it. Oh, <laughs> I kept pulling. It. I'm not gonna oh, lie yeah, to no. you. Like I still don't understand. You know, like the lines that go through and like how you win. I have no idea. You know, how you, that just works. React. you just let yeah. it react. Yeah. 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 A lot of them don't even make sense. Right. Yeah. And they're all rigged at the end of the day. They gas you up. You make you feel like you keep winning some crazy shit, and you don't. Really win anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I hate it's that. It makes that noise, yeah. but it's 13 cents. You know what yeah. I mean? But that's yeah. good. I'm Vegas like, is lit. It's still mad sugar mamas and sugar daddies all walking around. <laughs> that's what he thinks about when it's lit. Oh, we're we're, we're talking about everyone was super hot after you go to the Grand Canyon. Right. <laughs> and then you're watching all these hikers. And then you go to Vegas. You're like, damn. damn. Everyone's fine. No, no. There was a lot of hot people in hot, Vegas. Hot, right. hot. Really? Yep. Yeah. Just walking around gambling. Cause like just the like, clubs and stuff aren't open, obviously. Dude, it was so, so hot right busy. Now. <laughs> it was so busy out there. There, it was just like a regular day in Vegas, like almost like a holiday in Vegas. Did you have right. to wear masks? Yes, yeah. absolutely. They Is check. Like, they check dining? in the front, like that. You when you walk into yeah. any of the casinos, that you are covered. Wow. No, yeah. they're so pretty safe. You gambling... can't have your you can't have your mask off. They'll, they'll, everyone's wearing a mask in there. <laughs> right. You Got can't it. if you have your mask off. They'll like check you real yeah. quick. Yeah. It used to be the ID. Now it's the mask. Now it's because the mask. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys play? Do you guys gamble? Uh, do a little blackjack. You know what I mean? But I, like I, I, I'm too uh connected to my losses. Like you know I. I can't just be like, all right, I'm I'm out. I feel so terrible, mm. you know. Mm. Like the ride to Vegas or like a casino, we're like, yeah. And then when we lose, the whole ride back, we're just like, fuck, dude. <laughs> it's just terrible. You have to think of it as just like you're paying an admission ticket. You yes. Know? Yeah. You go there with the mentality of flipping, then you're gonna lose. Yeah. You know. How about you, Sheila? Yeah. You play? No, I don't. I'm yeah. not big on that. Yeah. Do you like Vegas? Um, I mean, because you like the nature, but you also yeah. like the Miamis. And I the... do, but not the Vegas. Rick feels like a sinner. Relax, homie. Whoa, two Ooh. likes on that one, too. <laughs> wow. We got, what? Some, we got the Christian watch For right Christian. now. Four, yeah, five. Dude. Wow, it's just going up. I Nine. Whoa. 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 Let's see. Let everybody Relax. like no, the Rick no. feels like Come a sinner on. right now. We're going to up that. Yeah. We're going to make 20. that the most amount of comments Relax. that I've ever had Relax. on this. 25. What's 26. the most you've ever had? 
What? I think that, I, is I think that might be the highest <laughs> likes we've Holy ever had shit. on that one. Oh. You know, it's still going up. All, all right. right. All right. <laughs> all right. Okay. I'll go to, uh, so now, when, if it reaches 30, you got to pray right now. <laughs> That's true. You got to repent right now. Oh, uh, come on. Give us that, too. Give us, on, give us that, guys. too, more. Okay, we reached a limit. I feel like we're gambling right now. <laughs> <laughs> too no, far. <laughs> Yo, 30, five on 30, five on 30. All right. Uh, also, we are approaching on Halloween. Oh, yeah. So I feel like we should do a Halloween yeah. episode. Should we dress oh, up yeah. like something? We should totally so up. the we week, should dress the week up. after next, we'll do our Halloween episode, guys. So okay. ladies, let me ask you this question. When, when Halloween comes around, which kind of Halloween person are you? Are you the one that likes to go sexy? Kind of like. Well, we'll see, won't we? <laughs> I don't know. I you feel know? like I want. I feel like you'd be the one like stupid, super scary. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like stupid <laughs> scary, super scary, stupid dumb, like a yeah. stupid like I don't. But it's it's like I think it's like I don't have. I want to be that confident person that's like, oh, I'm like very sexy. Look at my body, like right. you know, and yeah. be like, oh, but I just slept like this because it's Halloween. <laughs> but I don't ever feel that way. I, I just don't. Like right. I I want to, but I can't. I think I can't I'm like be like, super sexy this time. Yeah. Halloween. What are you gonna do? <laughs> yeah. Titties out and everything. Yeah, He's like, definitely. I'm a sinner today. <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> fucking uh, asshole, dude. Uh, how about you, Sheila? Uh, what was your last costume? Sinner. Yeah. Oh, I'm kind of generic like that because I don't typically dress up for Halloween. Like, mm. it's not my go-to. But um, Angela, remember Angela? Back yeah. in the day, Angela, she'll start making her costume a month in advance. You wow. know, you got those people yeah, who are yeah, like yeah. very like, too. let me go to Santee Alley to buy all the material, all the fabric, yeah, yeah. and right. then I'll start. St so my, one of my homegirls is like that so when i and we were roommates so when we li so we lived together we would make our own costumes and one year we were um the em emotions <laughs> oh, what? what's no, that? sorry go ahead um what's what's that cartoon the joy angry oh uh, inside out yeah inside out yeah, so yeah, we yeah. were like inside out characters and we did it from scratch who was the so blue was sad one i was <laughs> yeah no no i wasn't oh, okay, i was okay. the, the blue happy one okay 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 duh <laughs> uh no the blue sad one was the other homegirl nice. but um so like you guys try to get real creative yeah that's awesome. but ever since like that phase i've just been dressing up as like an army girl like right, last right, year right. i was like cat. like hot though like a hot one yes yeah. You know, like the people it's who do the real, like, try to be super creative, like, oh, I'm corny. Oh, I'm this, is corn. this is corn. I'm corny. Right. You know, like those right, costumes, right, right, right. you know? Yeah, what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, or like yeah. the ones where, like, you need to be together for it to make sense. Yeah. Like a yeah. double one and yeah. one guy leaves. Yeah. Yeah. Like, who are you? It's like, yeah. my counterpart's not here. <laughs> like an action figure with text. I'm a figure of speech. Look, I'm a figure of speech. Like, chill, fam. Okay. Like, my get sister's kind of like that. She kind of kills every time. <laughs> She dressed That's up as so a couple of years ago. She dressed up like mustard on the beat, and she was a beat with mustard. <laughs> mustard. <laughs> but I think exactly. she got reposted by Yo. mustard. Uh, That's what it's like. That's kind of funny. Yeah. One day she was like, she was llama Del Rey. So right, she was like a llama <laughs> with like a little crow, uh, a flower oh, crown. She's a funny girl. Like, yeah. That's, That's like funny. funny. That's how yeah. she did yeah. count Dracula. You know, yeah, with numbers, like, numbers so on her. Oh my god. <laughs> Always, she's always on some shit yeah, like that. Yeah, that's fire. I love that. Like school teacher, you and know, every guys? year you get the slew of like blackface <laughs> or offensive costumes. Oh my gosh, like dude. the the offensive. I've actually Asian. never seen that in person. Have you guys? Hey guys, have you seen an offensive costume in person? Um. Mm. No, not really. Honestly, I, I, I haven't. Yeah. So. Is it oh no, offensive? I did. I saw Jesus. I saw someone be Jesus on the <laughs> oh, crowd, like with blood gushing I've out like this yeah. at, the, oh my at the party. He's like, yo, watch this, watch this. And he like steps on the foot and then blood gushes okay, out. Okay, is the... being Jesus offensive? <clears throat> I mean, with the fucking nails in his cross? Yeah, I mean, come on. He was there. Dude. But, but is, aren't <laughs> he was you allowed there. Do you a, believe in it? <laughs> as a Christian, aren't you allowed to sin? Like, can't you do that and, be, and then pay, pray and then be like, sorry, God, for doing that? Repent. Hold on, let me Google it. Let me see. <laughs> if you dress think, up like yeah. God. No, no. I mean, I don't like, think I don't, that's the thing, that's man. The Anything can things. be offensive to anybody. You know what right. I mean? So when they when they did it, I'm pretty sure like they're like, yo, this is gonna be funny. You know? I think like how about when non Asians dress up like Sailor Moon? Is do we think that's weird? Uh, or like dress up like like uh, you know? An I Asian, think a Halloween like is the one Asia, way they Asia. Can... Someone mentioned this one that is also one that most people don't get the Native American appropriation. Right. Yeah, I, like I see. I think that one is the most common one that people don't yeah. realize they're being offensive. Yeah, I dude. They go like around. Pocahontas oh, once, on, and bro. I kind of felt like that was probably problematic. Which one? In, in college, like Pocahontas. 
My girl had already be, yeah. made a costume, so I reused hers as Pocahontas because I mm, like her. Uh, okay, you're canceled. Kind of... All right, yeah. <laughs> uh, Steph, you won't be returning here. <laughs> any... I'm sorry. Any God, I'm sorry. all respect for you right now. So. <laughs> you lost all respect. Jeez. I'm so but, sorry. Uh, but no. you guys just were around the river bend, so you're, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, and we sing really. that song too, yeah. dude. You're right, canceled. Um... Yeah. Hey, all right, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> she gave me that. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a hot potato I, cancel. I dressed up Daria last year. I mean, oh, not yeah. even sexy, dude. I, was I could, yo, you, yeah, I could see yeah, it. Yeah. Wait, who's Daria? Huh? Daria? Daria? It's oh, like this very it's a cartoon from the 90s. Glum. Yeah, yeah. She's kind of like oh, a sarcastic. Oh, I know Daria. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Her. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> na, 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 Well, I feel na. bad because I did, I, I, like last year, I dressed up as a Filipino. I was a nurse. So I was, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm kidding. I'm oh, kidding. Like, bro. I'm kidding. Oh, yeah, I'm kidding. Because your brother-in-law is Filipino. I feel like it's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you it's get the, the fast, bro. No, nah, I was uh, I was a nurse. Though. I went to uh, one of those stores <clears throat> that sell like uniforms for like essential workers and yeah, shit. Yeah, and I got yeah. a nurse outfit because it was a lazy costume. I was in New York. Let's try to think of something like Let's a team do costume. Yeah, what what has four people? Captain Planet. <clears throat> it's kind of boring though. Captain Planet. I think I might be wrecked for Halloween. We could be pa- wreck wreck. Yeah. Oh, like you're gonna wear tur- uh, not Just, turtles, yeah. but like Just, frog you know, stuff. Frogs. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Glasses. Yeah. I feel like it'd what be about pretty Power easy Rangers. To dress up. Isn't there? Ooh. Yeah. And Alex could be the. He could be the pink ranger. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. I'll be the yellow ranger. She's gotta be Trini, dude. We're breaking gender. I want to be. I want to be the the bad woman. What's her name? The bad Rita. Reed, I love Yo. Rita. I was always. Oh, the by bad the way, woman. Rita. Do you remember Rita, the one with the horns? I forgot she was a yeah. she's, she's Asian. Right? Asian. Oh, she's a little younger. Yeah. She's a little yeah. younger. I'm not like What'd that you say much like younger. That? Nah, you got little... the you got the different generation of Power Rangers where they turned into oh, cars. Oh, dude, and yeah, shit. when they had yeah, diamonds yeah. on their yeah, face. Come on, this is all really. Let's be something like. What's like? I want to be Zordon. Zordon. Whoa, what is that? Your, your, your head is big enough to be Zordon, <laughs> right, by the way. Right, right, right. Um, <laughs> Those are not Power Rangers. What is going I, on? These are just random costumes. Alex, you could put costumes. it on the screen, too. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you can't do it? Oh, you can't? Okay. Oh, uh, you just... <laughs> wait, no, no, because like I want pod? I want to start putting visuals, too, on our, right, on our right. pod. Like, okay, you could put it... Oh, I'm surprised. Go to Amazon.com. Let's see if there's any offensive costumes right now. Go click. Go to Amazon and try to, <laughs> type in offensive. Oh, costume. you can't put this on the stream. I can't. I can't. Okay. Put Amazon. Go to Amazon and put like Asian costumes. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> let's see what there is. You know, there's gonna be a bunch. All right. Yeah. All right, we're going to see if there's any offensive costumes on Amazon. They just give you right double now. tape for you to like. Uh, <laughs> looks like they're kind of orga- <laughs> pull the like, just to pull your Asian shit. lady wow. wig. Is that offensive? That's Wait, offensive. Asian yeah. lady of course wig. It yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. The By the way, I saw, um, I, but I saw a comment Romanian. about cosplay, though, because a lot of people are dressing up in like cosplay, mm. and that's a huge thing. Right. And I that's wouldn't all be Asian, offensive. I guess. Yeah, and that's so is that all what Asian. What do you think? Being half, well, how do you feel? Um, I, when when you first brought it up, I was like, oh shit, yeah, that is There's offensive. There's a soy sauce t-shirt. <laughs> a what? A soy a sauce? Soy sauce. Like, are you offended by this dude? You Asian men? Which right one? Right there, men's novelty warrior. Like, Ooty. you think that's offensive? Like, yeah. yeah well, a, I think a little it, bit. I are you more know. offended because you can't grow it? I out? think because <laughs> the mo- I think I think if they used an Asian model, it would help sell it a little bit more. What do you think? <laughs> Yeah, dude. I'm yeah, using... they're using a white model for that one. Dude, so, you can't use Christian know. Bale for that advertisement right there. Come on, dude. It's I, not, mean, I think they already they did kind of yo, regulate it though because I feel like they took probably took off a lot. Right. You know what I'm saying? They probably right. took off a gang Asian of stuff. Asian racist costumes. It's like dumbfounded costume comes out. <laughs> oh, that guy pisses me off. Wow. That guy right there. That one right there. Uh, That's yeah. a top row, crazy, top row dude. to the right. Come on, dude. That's yeah. crazy. Hey, look at this number one right here. Look at this one. Is this he... dude right here, he's pulling Whoa! his eyes back. Wow. <gasps> Wait, let's see. Can you zoom is in? He that? Pulling is it? he pulling yeah. it? Is he blurry? I can't tell. Yeah. I don't know. It sounds it looks problematic. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes, he is. He's pulling his dude. eyes back. Where's his dun, 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 dun. <laughs> he's pulling his eyes Come back. On, ah, he needs to pull his eyes back a little more though, because he's not convincing he's not anybody trying. with that one right there. He's still have round eyes still. Some adult told him to do it. Damn, yeah. that's crazy. V- Rick goes on vacation based on which spot has the best religious protesting. <laughs> Come on, baby. <laughs> 11 likes. Bible Jesus belt tour. Shanwise, right. what's up? All right. Know. All right. Well, uh, guys, we <clears throat> want to take some calls or questions, throw it into the chat, and we'll talk about it a little bit more. Um, and we want to 
maybe be able to take some calls, but we've been kind of slow on the calls lately, mm. guys. So uh, please. If call a non-Asian in. person, I feel like if any non-Asian person dresses up like an Asian person, it's a little weird. And you don't want to. It's how do you guys feel about that? We were just talking about this. Is like. You don't want to call out everything because mm. then it's like lame, especially if it's like in comedy right. or like music, whatever it is. Right. It's creative. You don't want to be that person because it makes you seem lame or like you're too serious. But it's also like it, if it's problematic and it needs right. to be discussed. I think there's a way. To, that, I yeah. think you got to know how to read the room. I think there's a way that you can also see that that person's intention is not exactly. trying to be offensive, but totally. or because there's also being offensive for the sake of like me just trying to offend Offend you, you. Like yeah, clowning or yeah, roasting yeah, you yeah, too. Yeah, for sure. Some premeditated. Yeah, stuff. like people do that in battle rap or comedy too. Like you go to any of these, like you're gonna if you're in a roast battle at at the comedy store, right? You're gonna use like whatever you can against each other. Yeah, like yeah. I'm gonna use for sure. Sure. Asian jokes, Latina jokes, you know, for the sake of what that is, right. like what the environment you're in. If you had to roast three of us right now, pick one thing each that you're going to choose. One thing? Yeah. yeah. Uh... <laughs> Do it right now. Let's Put go. me on the spot. <laughs> Do it. Do it. You're definitely gonna use my faith, right? Uh, You're gonna, what? Jesus, Jesus! <laughs> I, I I just think of like I don't know, like like. A, <laughs> Ooh, a little he's stutter! Nice. Oh, no, no, he stuttered he's, a little he's, bit. Yeah. Why don't we do? It? We'll do it to you. And then you can, oh, yeah, oh, calm man. down, mullet girl over here. All right, no, no, that was not even good. That was not even good. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I I'm not said, good at roasting when you put me on the right, spot. Right, you can't right, do that. Right, right. He talks about ro he roasts my ovaries all the time. <laughs> yeah, this guy's constantly talking about roast your dead ovaries. Ovaries. Eggs, like dying, ageism, Damn. shit. Ageism, nah, nah. I don't, I don't do that. It's 2020, guys. Don't put me on the spot. Yeah, he did. I had to check him, and he's like, he's like, chill, bro, chill. Back to that thing about people taking offense. <laughs> uh, Rex said this on Bad Rap. He was like, if the joke isn't funny, he gets offended by it. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, like, right. yeah, like the intent. If it's done well and it's comedic and it's 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 funny, then he's like, oh, I get, I get it, I get why he did it. But if it's kind of lackluster and the joke doesn't hit, then it becomes super offensive. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like the quality of the. I joke just really well. don't want any white person to make fun of an Asian like joke in front of me. Like, right, I, right, It does right. bother. That yeah, does bother. I'll punch you me in the it, fucking it's face. It's one thing if they're performing, but if you're doing it to me. That's but you gotta, thing but you gotta understand it though. Yeah, I mean, I think in this climate, people get offended more. But that is gonna happen in different uh, in the comedy community, for sure. In the, the rap community, like battle rap, especially. I think in those arenas, like that's what you expect to do. Yeah. But there's also a classy ways to roast each other and their ethnic ethnicities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? For like, sure. There's ways where you know that person knows about your culture while they roast you. Mm -hmm. And weren't you, you know? saying that too? Like. People who do that, they're more cultured, actually, because they need to learn the culture. You yeah. know what I mean? They need to kind of know the context of what they're talking about. Right. So they're like kind of educated. If you feel like a white man was, like, born and raised in, like, China or something, mm -hmm. and he, you know, was talking, you know, I feel like I'm okay with that. Right, right, right. You know? But like, then, like, Steven Seagal acting Chinese, yeah, that I'm not okay not with okay. that. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, well, let me sure. ask you. You said you went to a lot of international school, too. Wait, you didn't have – did you have situations where, like – in Asian countries where Asian kids made fun exactly, of you for Shane. not looking Asian? No, I didn't have that. You didn't have, they weren't like round Jokes eyes. No, they love, that's has that joke. That's what we're fighting right now. They love mixed people. They do? They in love mixed They love mixed kids. They're, they're like oh, really? beautiful. Oh, really? So you're yeah. a popular yeah. girl. Yeah. I mean. Come on. Dude. Can't you tell? <laughs> From oh, and she, <laughs> no. um, she can dance. So she definitely can dance. Yeah, no, I didn't really have any of that growing up. Racism or like any of that like judgments or any like race racial judgments mm. didn't, wasn't really a thing just because we were such an expat community too so we were all very well aware that we were all from different places and it was welcomed and uh, like appreciated pretty right. much mm. and then i came here and i was like oh my gosh why is everybody so oh like like talks about race yeah and ethnic. but i mean there is that it does exist here right. you know and it's funny because people think la is mad integrated but it actually is pretty segregated even if you look at yeah. even if you look at yeah. adult life and events and 
things. There's like Asian clubs, there's black clubs, there's white, you know, I mean, it's, it's separated. And even areas economically in different regions of neighborhoods. Right. There's Latino neighborhoods, mm-hmm. there's Korean neighborhoods. For yeah. sure. A lot of that. For sure. I'm not going to lie, though. I didn't know, like, even like with politics, I didn't know there were so many Republicans in L.A. and Orange County. West, like, oh, being or- around oh, it. Like, I didn't County? know that until I was older. Like, I didn't yeah. recognize I mean, where there's when wealth, I was there's going to be a lot of Republicans. Yeah, man. right. You know I mean? have, have you guys but dealt with... Ra- <clears throat> hella racist ones. Mm-hmm. You have you know? guys like dealt that? with any of those issues with, like, family members being Republicans or Trump supporters? Mm, I've had... F- very like best friends with parents that are like republicans and you know they it's the whole like fiscally republican right. you know but yeah, yeah. I, that it's what did you guys, guys see that like, josh brolin video where he recorded it in his car about just the current current climate he's talking about like you have the right to vote for trump you have the right to vote for whoever yeah. you want it's mm-hmm. just we just need to stop treating each other like shit yeah you know what i'm yeah. saying that's something and and uh, I believe in this filtration thing. Like there are days when I wake up and I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna try to <clears throat> exert positivity, you know, and think positively. But and you don't think you... voting for Trump is part of treating someone like shit when you're supporting somebody that treats? People I mean, but like the thing shit? is, the thing is, in this country, we have the right to vote for and have an opinion. Do you know what I'm saying? And it gets to the point where they may be supporting Trump for other reasons it could it, it doesn't have to be okay this is the right one other people could be voting for him because this is yeah not but josh right brolin one. is not right necessarily in the sense that people have the right to treat someone like shit too yeah but you supporting trump doesn't mean that you're treating people like shit. i don't know i just feel like you're you're supporting somebody with those values that's what you represent mm. i mean you don't think so i think people have different opinions of what values trump holds you know what i mean i think definitely he says a lot of outlandish what are the shit. values you think that peeps trump supporters think that tr- trump holds like the good ones like the i think law and order i think just also economy wise i think i, I mean you know i don't want to go down too much of the list but there's pretty much people saying that you know there's a lot of trump supporters now because they like the way that he's not he's kind of like unorthodox he's saying what you know like people wanted a change you know and it's like the le- lesser of both evils. Like who who's the better choice and all that? I don't Let me ask get you this: if, if Biden wasn't <clears throat> Christian and Trump was Christian, would you both vote for Trump? <gasps> if what? Say it again. If Trump was Christian and Biden wasn't Christian, Damn. Biden was Buddhist. <laughs> like who would you? <laughs> wow. Wow. I plead the fifth, man. Wow. Whoa. So so. One one candidate not being Christian would affect nah, your nah, vote. Nah, nah. You not sure? No, nah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. Yes, I'm sure. I just want to make sure what's the best for the people. You know what I mean? Is Trump not Christian? Dude, he, I don't know. He uh, held the Bible up. Doesn't even go to church. I don't know. I think he's you know? going to hell. I that put held the Bible hell hella weird, he didn't he? Just he? Wasn't, he held it upside down. He's so he fucking yeah. wild. Oh like my God. He was like... <laughs> I believe in Jesus. That guy's wild, dude. Yeah. So when he got COVID, what'd you guys think about that? I just saw that on. Here. I prayed what for you guys... him. You prayed I for wanted... Trump. Let me tell you why. Okay, hold on. Let me tell you why. Quote him. He prayed for Trump. I prayed for Trump. The reason why I prayed for Trump <laughs> is because I don't. I don't wish death upon anybody. Number one. Yeah. And number two, me praying for him was also an exercise of my inability. I don't pray for people because of who they are. I pray for people because of who I am. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to make sure that I want to, you know, there's, there's pain, there's, there's suffering in that as well. And if I'm, if I'm able to pray for someone that I don't agree with and someone that I dislike, I think I level up in that way. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, even with my enemies, if they're going through some stuff, it's a practice to wish, um, you know, goodness for them as well. Yeah. I I don't, I, I never, I don't think uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm completely against people saying, I don't wish death on somebody, but you know, like stuff like that. I, I don't want to throw that out Trump, there. I hate Trump, but I hate <clears throat> Trump, but I didn't necessarily wish death upon him with the COVID right. thing. But I, yeah. I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny. I mean, I mean there, yeah. there was definitely that moment where I was like, ha, the aha moment. You know what I mean? Like he's over there talking about Biden's big ass mask, and then it bit him in the ass. You know? Right. So like stuff like that, you're like, it's kind of like an SNL skit. Like Jesus, would like, you kill off so Trump stupid. to save a hundred thousand people? Hundred thousand? Yeah, a thousand percent. No, I'm kidding. No, <laughs> no I'm kidding. You know, I don't want to kill I off anybody. I thought it was anybody. like a political move or something for him to say that he had COVID. I, don't, I didn't look I at. Didn't yeah, know, it like, was I, weird. Yeah, that he was just so upfront like that. That's not a what holier than thou mindset. What is he doing? All right, well, let's take some calls right now, guys. Uh, we talked about a lot of things um, current, so let's uh, see what you guys have to say. What do we got on the line? We got Unlucky Beast. You are on the air, Unlucky. Pretty lucky. 
Yo, yo, what's up, guys? What's Hi, up, man? What up? Where are you yow, calling yow. from? Uh, I'm calling from Minnesota. 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 Yeah, Hello. Yeah, I'm what's originally up? from uh, California, though. <laughs> nice. Okay. nice. I, could, I could hear okay. it in your voice, bro. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Have you called them before? No, I haven't called him before, but I've been listening all this time. Hey. Okay, hold on. Let's get <laughs> it. Nice. Uh, yeah. We're going to do, a, we haven't done this in a while, an right, episode right. of Minority Report where Rick guesses the ethnicity Let's of the caller, it. which is, bad, have been known to be no a more. problematic segment, Super but we're going to try. <laughs> Sheila, could you uh, come up go. with a sentence for him to slowly repeat for us? Hold up. I couldn't hear it. It was cutting out. Okay, okay. No, no, I'm we're asking. Gonna, so Sheila's going to say a sentence that you're going to have to repeat so Rick can maybe guess it. All right, yeah. here we go. Okay, cool. One day, I dream of visiting Zion National Forest. <laughs> One day, I dream on visiting Zion National Forest. Okay. Whoa, whoa, forest is okay. good. I, I'm going to say Filipino. he's Hmong. Whoa. I want to say Filipino. Because right. regionally. I'm exactly, regionally exactly. Too. No, no, for sure, for sure. How about you? <laughs> I was going to say Hmong as well. I was going to say what? Hmong. Yes, but I don't know any people. I think he may be because he's also from Cali too. Though. I said he is from Hmong. Cali too. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, say, born and raised. I'm saying oh, Philip. he said born and raised. <laughs> <laughs> born and yeah, raised. Yeah, yeah. Born and raised yeah right he now, threw dude. me off right there, real that's, quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'm saying Filipino. You that's, say Filipino? That's my Filipino, or, I mean Filipino. Yeah. Mm. Same. I'm gonna stick with the Hmong, dude. You gonna right. stick with the Hmong? Let's hear it. Okay, what do we what do we got? Damn, I'm surprised you got it right. Oh, <laughs> which one? Let's Mom? go. Wait, how? Come on. It was the region, dude. man. It was the region. It's the what? region. It's the re There's, It's how one of the biggest popular. Hold on, uh, yo. You ever, you ever, you ever go? Uh, you ever get some food and drink at the point? Or in Minnesota? Yeah, in Minnesota. I mean, like Minnesota and California is like come on, dude. Areas for the mini. Yeah, I was ignorant for a while. I I kept saying come on. You know what I mean? I would say when I went. I, and when, I've, when I've toured there, the Hmong community has shown me so much love Dude, over the serious? years. It's crazy. I'm not going to lie. I went to Jay's Park uh, concert. And yeah. he said it just like you, Rick. He's like, I realized I got a lot of Hmong population <laughs> yeah. that support Yo, me. Hmong I'm fan like, base is Hmongous. Jay, you just know? Know? a little dirty. <laughs> no, no, no. I apologize for that. But yeah, you know what's respect. crazy? Back in the day, I, I had this video called The Gift, Me and Manifest. Uh, it was a black and white viral like YouTube video. Everyone thought that we were Hmong. <laughs> so like yeah. the whole Hmong community, <laughs> they thought I was Hmong. And I was like, yeah, I am. I am. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it, dude. I uh, doubt it. You got anything to add to a conversation, Beast? Uh, shit, People not much. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, I got a question for you. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. I bought sure. like two of your Korean... Korean jerseys like a month ago, and I still haven't gotten anything. Yeah, back they're on coming. It. My bad. <laughs> 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 I'm like, I'm I'm like, like bro, it's been a solid month. I was I expecting know. like two, three weeks. I've been talking. I've, you know, I've been getting messages. You know, what happened is like, you know, yeah, this, every happens. shipment is taking forever right For now. Sure. Sorry, guys. And, you know, it, <laughs> but the thing is, actually half of the orders have gone out so like they actually went out the first few weeks right. but i didn't realize how much of the high volume of orders i was gonna get yeah yeah they are coming and if you haven't got a tracking number you are gonna get one and don't worry like i'm on top of it i'm pushing my distributors so hard right now because <laughs> mad people are hitting me up and i'm yeah. like fuck i can't yeah. do nothing nah, about nah. it dumb like, is not dumb is not those not kind of people don't worry He's i am not one of those trust me i yeah, provide yeah. good customer service i assure you <laughs> same with the yox hoodies they are coming all right it's all good it's all good 100 percent go check on that i'm pretty sure there's plenty of people that wanted to know that that is dumb is reliable reliable. what he says (laughs) goes yeah it just takes a minute yeah (laughs) yeah (laughs) yeah thing too guys i also got my jersey like two three weeks late i have no excuses it's just everything is you know the factory distribution even my last merch item has just been taking so much longer than i I usually ship out you know what i'm saying sorry about that bro yeah, so no worries, man. No worries. Respect. But when you get you. it, you got to switch your name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks for I'm thanks for bro. copping the jerseys, though, man. They're coming. I yeah, promise. No problem, you. And you'll you'll be happy with the quality when they when you when thanks you see for them. calling him out. Too. Thanks a lot. Good no quality. Yeah. That was his you guys have a good yeah, one. He's like, why are yeah. you ignoring <laughs> my customer service <laughs> email? <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, bro. Have a good one. All right, we got one more call. Two more. Two more calls. Right, let's take the next call. Uh oh. What we got? The lovely voice. We got Isang. Hey guys. What's Hi. up? What's up? Ellen? How's it going? Good. Good. How are you? 
I'm good. It's been a while. I'm glad it I could catch you. I know, I know. You really do have a pleasant voice, I gotta yeah. say. Like yeah. a very yeah. positive. A very <laughs> pleasant, <laughs> I gotta say. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like, you know what it sounds kind of like? You know, like uh, the way Her? Yeah, I was just gonna say that. Like the movie yeah, Her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. That, that uh, like an AI robot, voice. Yeah. yeah. yeah could you, Have you could... ever thought about doing voiceover work? Yes, please, everyone, keep your hands and feet inside oh. your position. Thank you. Very wow. pleasant. Wow. Very, very yeah. pleasant. Beautiful. Very pleasant. How are you doing today, Helen? I'm doing really good. I barely work today, so I'm feeling great. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit just really, really quick about the cosplay thing. Cosplay. cosplay. Yeah. 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 And, and about cosplay being offensive. I just, I don't find that to be the case. Obviously, though, I'm not Asian. Mm. So. I don't find um, cosplay offensive at all. So, I, did you find cosplay offensive? Or no. What? I don't care. Yeah, like, if I somebody dresses that, like Chung um, Lee, I'm not offended <clears throat> by that. Like, ooh. Fuck it. Get your Chung Lee on. Yeah, yeah. It depends, I'm confused like, by it. I don't know. I don't, I'm not, I'm confused. It's a character. No, but you know what it is? It's the co- only it's, when you go full on, like, that's trying what it is. to look too, like, exactly. it's one thing if you're trying to be, like, cosplay and you look like a, like, the cartoon version yeah. or something. Mm-hmm. I mean, but then how do I draw the line? Right, you know? right. It's well, very it's just, subjective yeah. well, it's just, to, like, what I think. Yeah, well, that's the problem but with a lot like, of the cosplay, even with, like, I mean, costumes that are, like, blackface. It's like, they try to be Lil Wayne, but they color their skin black, and that's where it gets offensive, you know right, what I mean? Yeah. Like, right, right. But like, yeah. if you're not doing blackface, or if you're not pulling your eyes back, like, I or don't find that. Or saying Ching Chong, or yeah, hi, yeah, exactly. Or, like, or using the tape to the tape, tape it. Yeah, yeah, right. All of that. That's stuff. a big. Thing. I don't think, think about the fox eye offensive. trend thing, by the way. The fox eye trend. Yeah, have you seen that? It's no. like the. It's like they're they're like oh. on IG where the girls that aren't Asian are pulling. Do you? Think I don't that associate really... that to be Asian. Offensive. Of, yeah. Race. Yeah, I don't associate that with. It's more like aesthetic, like cosmetic. For sure. It's like eyebrow threat. It's like your your. Threading your skin. Uh, basically. I, I'm sorry. We got so many more important things we should tackle. I feel like in some of these, you know, yeah, situ- sure. in instances of things like you got to choose like your battle wisely. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So you're saying you're not offended by cosplay, right? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> right? Are you going to yeah, dress I'm up? Saying- like, are you going to dress up like a character? For Halloween, are you, what are you doing? This no, Halloween? I'm way no. too lazy to do anything like that. <laughs> okay, it is a it is an arts and craft situation. Like going, I, I'm not good at those things. Like yeah. I work with children, but I don't like them like that. So I never really <laughs> learned how to really you, get my <laughs> get you, my paper mache and shit on. You work with children, and you don't like you don't like children. Like you're not gonna have a child. Like I like like the idea of children is really great and there are some really really special moments that I get to have with kids but it's mm. so nice when I get to take them back to their foster home or take them back to their parents. Right, mm. right, right. No, I hear you. I it just that. it takes G out of me and I think I still have some things I need to deal with from my own childhood. So. Oh, mm. wow. Okay. That's real. I, that is. I want a lot of kids cuz I feel like, you know, I've how been many, doing a lot of this independent grind on my own. It'd be nice to <laughs> Dumb, have a lot of these. You didn't see kids. how Steffi just looked at you. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> we both, we both. Yeah. I would love to have kids to like help me with production and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I throw one on lighting. I throw yeah. one so on stage management. Yeah, 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 little minions to really just help me. You know what you I'm want saying? Little interns. That's yeah, what you to want. support my independent artist career. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I need. All, I want to do all in house. I have a merch guy. <laughs> right. I have the whole fucking team. Oh my so, like God. a little Jackson 5 situation? Yeah, except I won't beat him like, like Joe Jackson. Your kids <laughs> when they don't help. I, yeah, I promise I won't beat him like Joe Jackson, right. though. You know Jeez, what I'm saying? Right. Um, like the Mormons, where they have <clears throat> multiple family members and they all like work. Okay, cool. Family. Also, Rick, did you get the sweatshirt? <laughs> oh, no, I did not yet. Wow. Did you? You okay. sent it? You sent it? Yeah, I, I sent it straight to you. I'll look on the, I'll check the, uh, Great. She got tracking. me an Among Us sweatshirt, dude. Like an Among Us oh, the oh, game. Oh, the yeah. game. Wow. Nice. Somebody said my thumbs look like the Among Us characters, and that fucking pissed me off. But, yeah. Thank you, you so much for the sweatshirt. I appreciate it, was, it. Yeah, thanks, guys. I really enjoy you thank all the time, you. Sheila. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, Dumb, wow. Rick. Wow. <laughs> we love your voice. We're big fans. Love you guys. We're big appreciate fans it. of your voice. Yeah. All right, take care. Have also, go. Steffi and Dumb, please post each other on your Instas. Whoa. 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 Put in us. Uh, all right. Yeah. We- okay. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Okay, great. And with that, I'm going to hang up. Bye, guys. All right. Bye. Bye, Let's have Yoongi on the call. Let's take Yoongi. Yoonjai. Is it Yoonjai? No, no, no. Yoonji. <laughs> Yoonji. Yoonji. Yeah. Yeah. sounds Korean. All right. Yoonji. 
Hello? Yeah, oh, what's is. up? Hey, what's up, buddy? Yo, <laughs> dang, I can't believe I got on the Discord. Oh, you on it, baby. <laughs> what's yeah. good, homie? All right. Hey, what's sorry, up? Sorry. What's up? What's up, man? Where are you calling from? Uh, Texas, bro. Oh, Texas. What, what part? Yeah, uh, Dallas. 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 That's okay, that is no information to share after that. Okay. Uh, what, what's up, man? What, what's on your mind? Oh, uh, nah, dude, my bad. I'm so nervous right now. I don't uh, know why, but nah, nah, it's you all good, good, bro. You good, bro. So cute. Take a breather. Uh, Thank you so much for calling in, though. No problem. But I was just gonna say, like, um, you and uh, you and Rick and all the other Asian Americans. It's pretty cool that you guys are. You know, up there doing your thing. Because, you know, down in Texas, when I used to go to school, I didn't really see a lot of Asians like me, you know. This accent is fine. <laughs> they're either like Fabi or, you know. Right. Yeah, no, Rick's like, Fabi uh, still. Like nerdy or something, you know. No, nah, I feel that, man. Um, I mean, you know, things are like real different now. There's a lot of Asians popping off. So yeah. I feel like school's going to look Yeah, I mean, different. like, yeah, I think it's so crazy to see. And I think it's really important that, you know, you guys keep pushing in and doing your thing yeah and like all... I'm, not, I'm not even gonna lie i don't uh I, i'm not gonna I, like i don't want to sound like a bad fan or something but i don't really listen to y'all music because i uh i fuck with like <laughs> stupid young and shit like that you know yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, I fuck come with on stupid young hey, too. Like, let's go no i should get stupid young on the podcast but no but anyway i <laughs> I, I'm, I plan to i i actually uh reached out to him so i'm gonna get him on um but much love, though. Thank you for listening to the podcast. Of course, we support our beautiful Asian sisters here too. Shout out! To oh, Steffi dude, yeah, for Kayla. sure, man. Because uh, like I, I don't, I don't want to put you guys too long, but I like I listened to the whole like since episode one all the way till now. Oh wow! And I've been trying to get you guys, you know. Heck I, yeah, I respect man. that. I, cool. I I like cats who just like listen to us on here. Doesn't right, doesn't right. have to listen to our music. Right. I don't yeah. care. It's another thing. You no, know no, what I'm for saying? sure. So I appreciate sure. that, bro. Hell hey, yeah, no bro. problem, man. You guys keep That's doing so your thing. Cool. That's all I wanted to say. Uh, I'll try you. to, because usually you guys are live when I'm working, so I'm finally glad I got you, what you guys. What I would do you actually do? What wanna, do you do for work, bro? Uh, I'm a warehouse worker, dude. Oh, hell uh, yeah, bro. Put that muscle in. I work in. in the warehouse. I got so, you. So, uh, yeah, I actually caught uh, Rec 2 earlier today. He was at fucking Burger King, you know, yeah. Whopper and shit. Eating the squid ink. I saw that, that shit. That motherfucker's out <laughs> yeah, there, yeah, bro. I was on there, too, Eating, so I was dude. glad. I'm glad I caught both of you guys on live. Yo, yeah, you, I appreciate you, you yo, calling in, brother. Man, keep holding it down, brother. Appreciate it. Thank hey, you. No problem, hey, you Running guys through the city with it. my... Peace. Peace. Bye. Bye. All right, All right. thank you. Bye-bye. All right, we got Varan Diva next. What's up, Varan? Varan 1VA. What's up? Where you calling from? I'm calling from Connecticut. What up, homie? Randy. What up? <laughs> Not too many people from Connecticut, but I'm here to play Minority Report, and I got a... Oh. Okay. Me. All right, here we go. Another episode. I like he called I it. Like, it. I, <laughs> I want I you got, to play I Minority, minority Report. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, What's here we the go. Sentence he has to say, yeah. Steffi? Right, uh, the sentence. Um, I am going to go dancing with Sheila, but I can't. Time. On the what? Great Wall of China. On the Great I'm going to go dancing with Sheila on the Great Wall of China. Okay. I'm going to go dancing with Sheila on the Great Wall of China. Oh, this is a tough one. Wow. This I feel like he one. added an accent, like an unnatural no, no, accent. No, no, no. You did it, right? Did Are you, you, did you add it? Did you, or no? did, you add, did you add inflections right there or no? Maybe subconsciously. Sub subconsciously. Maybe. Wait. Subconsciously. <laughs> Hold on. Right, subconsciously. Right, Rick, give it a go. Let's go. What do we got? You guys go first. Oh, I, I still gotta. Yeah. I still gotta. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say Indian. Okay. Mm. How about you? Because Connecticut. I don't know anything about Connecticut. No, just gotta I, go by I, the I, accent. I'm just gonna say Korean. Mm. Whatever. All right. I'm gonna say white. Go. I'm gonna say white. Okay. Let's hear it. Yeah, you're all wrong. Filipino. Oh, oh Filipino. Filipino. You Filipino? Wow. Yes, sir. Wow, bro. I almost okay. went Filipino. Well, we lost. I almost yeah. went Filipino, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, bro. What's up, man? Good. You win uh, yeah. uh, nothing. You, really you win our shame on. right now. Yeah, yeah, a, yeah, yeah, you, did. Really you receive did. a baseball jersey you know, in 2022. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah. I, mean, I, grew, I grew up in the Midwest. My mom oh. is Filipino. My, my dad's mom. Filipino. You my see mom. that? He says mom with the M-A-H-M. That's, 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 that's Connecticut. Like yeah. That's a Connecticut. That's funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, my mom, like, grew up, like, in the States. So like she didn't oh. have an accent. 
accent no come on accent. dude i hear it bro that's what's up that's what's no, up i mean like filipino accent but yeah right right no i got you he definitely got a midwestern twang to his voice for show man what's up you want to add anything to the conversation <laughs> right, Rick. Rick's a show, man. yeah so <laughs> using every about, slang. Uh, i know i used every slang. <laughs> it's lit turn up for show damn daniel <laughs> <laughs> no he said, damn daniel all right what's uh, up buddy um, we were talking about like costumes and stuff like that. Yeah. Not, I'm not talking about like the appropriation stuff anymore. But yeah, I was yeah. wondering if like the four of you, I don't know like so much growing up, but like now, do you guys feel like you always try to like always do with like an Asian costume? Because that's how I've always nah. felt like growing up. I was like, I always gotta be, like if I wanted like dress up as someone, like they gotta be Asian for like the representation wow. or stuff like that. Okay, I like what? Well, I mean, that. you run out of those. Like, how many different Asian? Like, what? What were your lists of Asian costumes that you've gone through? uh so sulu from star trek i've been mm, goku okay i did um ash like in pikachu right right so what uh, was wait, you did uh, ash and pikachu no like no. it was oh. like a couple's costume wait hold on let me ask you this pikachu. was the mentality behind you dressing up as the asian characters did you think about asian representation early or was it just like okay i'm asian i should play into this costume i don't know i feel like like, th like, those are the people, like, I always looked up to. Like, I didn't look up to, like, you know, mm, like, yeah. white role models, stuff like that, you know. But I got you. That's cool. At, that, that's at the same time. Yeah, I mean, I'm oh, sorry. That's, I, I don't want to cut you off, but I'm just curious because that's interesting because I don't necessarily I, – I, I acknowledge that there were Asian characters on TV like that. Right. But I didn't necessarily look up to them. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, right. I didn't, I didn't see, look at Sulu and be like, oh, he's Asian. I look up to him. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Or like John Cho, yeah, yeah. he's he's the one Asian guy in American Pie. Yeah, like yeah, I didn't yeah. give a fuck that he was. Right. But I acknowledge that there was that one guy in the thing. For sure. You know what but I mean? You know, so it, it, yeah. it hits people differently. You know what I mean? So for him, when he saw that, he was like, "Wow, there's an Asian person on. Let me let me let me uh, support that. Let me let me represent. That's kind of cool, dude." So you know? so and then you just kept that going as a tradition, like every year. Yeah, trying to. I like I'm not doing anything for Halloween this year. Like I'm not trying to go to any parties anyways, right? So Right, right. I'm a I'm a hold off. But. I mean, yo, if you want to do another one, you just need to get a red sash and you could be Ryu. That's all you need. You know what I mean? Just boom right here, headband, you Ryu. It's very <laughs> easy. Right. Like being Asian and then doing Asian costumes, I feel like it's the easiest way. Yeah, I agree. That's yeah. what's up, man. All right, bro. Uh is there anything else you wanna add? Uh I got a question for you, Dom. Yeah. I was just wondering it was just something like I noticed because I've been listening just, you know, I've been listening to a big fan for a while. Cool. Thank you. Uh, I went to like your concert in, I think it was probably two years ago. It was the Yikes tour in, uh, Yikes was there too. It was uh, in Providence. Yep. That, that was a fun one. Providence. Yep. I love it, yo. <laughs> Everyone, y'all were passing around the, uh, the Grey Goose or whatever at the end of the party. And I was just thinking about that. I'm like, yep. man. Oh, that's, that's, that's when not I gonna, got naked. That's not going to fly anymore. <laughs> Yeah, 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 definitely, yeah. definitely that is so crazy. not. Uh, actually, that was actually very uh, risky because I didn't even know if they were all 21. And I'm over here just passing shit out. You yeah, know what I mean? you're canceled. I'm canceled. Uh, <laughs> nah, that for sure. I mean, there's a lot of things that you can't do anymore, like even touring right yeah. now. You can't tour, really. You can't do that water toss, remember? <laughs> like, you oh, yeah, you can't do, you can't do the water toss. Uh, for sure. You can't really mosh pit. You can't do any of that. Unless you're doing you know six mean? feet. The energy was great. That was like the best concert I've ever been to. Honestly. Oh, man. man. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Did I jump off anything that day? Probably. I don't even remember, man. <laughs> it, was, it was like a blur at the same time, too. Right, um, right, right. But my question for you, Dumb, I, it's just like a, like a lyric thing I like kind of noticed. When yeah. I, was listening, I like listened to like your, through your discog like the other day, like just while I was working. Um, I know you like mentioned like Normandy, like a lot like Normandy Street. Yeah. Mm. Like, in, like in murals and I think 24K Town and uh, Kill Me. Wow. I think like the top yeah. three, I remember. But wow. I, was wondering, I was wondering if like you have other references that you throw in to like other songs. Like, is it like on purpose or is it just because like you can rhyme with a, like that word like a lot just because. I mean, no, it's both. Like, it's rhyme, but also like for me, I like being very specific with my references. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, all the best rappers do. Like right. even Rick is very specific with places in Virginia like, you know, no one else gives a shit about. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it's, I mean, the reason the reason is, you know, I just feel like people like hearing these specific things. And it also challenges listeners, I feel like, to be like, oh, what is this place? You know, like. 
Uh, yeah. Uh, and I think the experience when people rap about specific places or put it in, uh, like Frank Ocean's very specific too. For I feel sure. like you know, For and sure. like it just makes it feel more personal. Like yeah. That that those areas or those th references that they're making are very personal to yeah. them. You know. When you go to Cafe Blue, you'll be like, ah, I get it. <laughs> I like when there's songs and they're like, you know, you reference one thing and then you, you have to know that song and then the next oh, song, yeah, you yeah, like yeah. reference something from that song. Right, right, right. And it makes you feel like you really know the artist exactly. or something like that. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Nah, definitely. I, I like, I like uh, dropping these references too because in life, if you do end up going there, you'd be like, oh, this is what he was talking about. You know what I mean? It's a little hidden gem like that. Yeah. For sure. Are you a rapper yourself, brody? Brody? No, nah. I did. You know, I was pretty involved in music like growing up, but mm, nice. it's just something that like I noticed because I was like looking up the lyrics of um like "Kill Me" and I like I saw that and I I didn't realize because it was spelled like I E. My dumbass thought the entire time you were like always making references to like France, the, like yeah, Normandy, like, the war, like battle like, of Normandy <laughs> stuff. I was like, I don't Wait, know, like a battle it? of Normandy or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm California, so I was this like, guy's I getting historical. Yeah. This right now. <laughs> I'm the historical oracle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, yeah. Thank you so much for calling, Yo, brother. Thank you so much it, for man. calling, buddy. Yeah, thanks, man. All right, I see everyone. Peace, Bye. peace, peace. Bye. Uh, we're done with the calls, right, Alex? All right, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in, man. I appreciate everybody in the chat, of course. Uh, it next... is great to have everyone back. Yeah, <laughs> man. Nice, Good. Man. That's what's up. For uh, sure. Richard, thank you, yes. as always, for of joining course, us. Um, <laughs> I would love to go on this little retreat. I would love it. You know what I'm saying? I would saying? love it. As a group, maybe we can invite some more people. Yeah, yeah. I know Sheila is like an expert. I'm basically the tour guide. She is, yeah. <laughs> she, uh, I'll, be the, I'll be the cook, you know what I mean? Okay, I'll chef yeah. it up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Horseshoe Bend three times. <laughs> 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 I know the best angles to take the pictures at Horseshoe Bend. All right. Pretty much. Uh, and then, uh, <laughs> Sheila, what will you contribute Whoa! to? I mean, Steffi. Whoa! <laughs> Today I got Sophie, I got Sheila. <laughs> Steffi. Someone spelled my name wrong in here. Steffi, what 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 will you be on the guide uh, as far as this uh, trip goes? Dude, I'll just be the hype person. The and hype I'll just person. be silly <laughs> around being the hype. Or I could take some pictures or whatnot. Like, <laughs> right, right. Whatever. Right. Once you guys remember my name, <laughs> oh. I'll think of some ideas. Steffi. Dom remembers your name. Right, right. Guys, give everybody a follow. Uh, we got at Sheila, A W E. Yep. Uh, and then we got Steph, uh, Baked Goods, B A I K E B G U D. I'll say it. It's Steph at Baked Goods. I love it. Baked, B A I K E B G U D. Yes. Yax underscore Rick. Baked Goods at Sheila, S H E E L A A W E. And guys, please, I'm like 15 away from 1,000 followers on Twitch, which is a huge wow, milestone wow. for me. So please, if you guys want to follow twitch.tv slash oxgang, O-X-G-A-N-G. And uh, next week, we'll have my boy David Youngin Kim. Oh, shit. Who is an amazing uh, engineer who actually mixed and mastered the last Big Sean Nas album. He's a hit, He works with Hit Boy. Right. He's Korean-American. I grew up with him in K-Town, actually, yeah. which is crazy. Like, he's now... This established Young like to one God. of the top hip hop engineers for um, sure, mix and master to multiple Grammys. So uh, shout out to Youngin. I uh, grew up with this dude in K Town. Very proud of the cat. So uh, mm. I'm going to be interviewing him, and then the week after that we'll be back and we'll do our Halloween episode, Let's guys. Do it. Tune in next week for another episode of Fun with Dumb. Peace. Love y'all. Peace. Bye. Thank you. Peace. 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 Peace.